Welcome guys to this exciting episode of Pokemon Heart Gold. In the last episode I made through that stupid forest with the fart fetch to make it to Goldenrod City. And in this episode we are going to go and face off against Whitney and her godforsaken mill tank. Now, you're going to be really surprised. I worked really hard for like two hours training my Pokemon and yeah, my Pokemon are really, really freaking strong right now. Um, and I caught two Pokemon off screen. I caught an Abra and a Ditto. I caught the Ditto basically if I just want to go into breeding Pokemon later on in the game, I can do that. And I caught an Abra just so I can use Teleport, so I don't really need an escape rope when I'm inside of uh, a dungeon or a cave. Um, I trained up Sand True, and it evolved into Sand Slash once it passed level 22. Sand Slash is actually my strongest Pokemon right now. I've got Butterfree level 24, Quilava level 25, Togepi level 25, and Flaffy level 25. So, yeah. Um, Whitney's Miltank is at level 19, but trust me when I tell you this, you want to grind before going there. I I'm just going to give you that little piece of advice. Now, in order for us to be able to go inside of Whitney's gym, see there's someone blocking the door right now, we have to go to the radio tower here in Goldenrod City. So let's go ahead and find that radio tower. Where the, where the hell is it? I think it's down here. And I would be correct because there's a Team Rocket grunt outside saying that this is the radio tower and he's telling me to scram like a douchebag. But anyways, um... Here is Whitney, right over here, and she is going to be like, Hi, my name's Whitney! I heard about this quiz to win a radio card, which is for the Poke Gear, so you can listen to um, radio stations and stuff like that. Now, if you come to this clerk right here, she'll give you the quiz, and I know the answers to all these questions. Alrighty, let's try out this quiz. Can you check the town map with your Poke Gear? Yes. Alrighty, Need Arena can only be female. That is true. Nita Rans can be male or females. Kurt, the Pokeball creator, uses apricots as ingredients. Now, this is important. This is the trick question here. He can use apricots. No, he can't. He can use apricorns to, as an ingredient to create Pokeballs. So this is incorrect. All right. The fourth question is, is it, is it impossible to use a TM on Magikarp? That is true. You can't use TMs on Magikarp. And now the final question is, in Professor Oak's popular show, Pokemon Talk, is he on with Mary. That is false. Alrighty, and we've answered all the questions, and now that we've done this, we received the radio card, and now we can play radio stations on our Poke Gear. Now, Whitney's gonna figure out that we won the competition, get pissed, and she's gonna head off to the gym. And trust me, her fury will be unleashed. But since I trained, I'm really confident with my party right now, so. Um, I'm actually going to start this off because, uh, I'm going to start this off with Sandslash, I should say, because Sandslash really hasn't gotten a time to shine. He didn't get a lot of action as a Sandshrew, but now that he's a Sandslash and he's in his final evolution form, he's going to be one hell of a party member. Once he turned into Sandslash, he learned the move Crush Claw, which has 75 attack power. That is amazing. Now, we have all of these trainers that are in here that we're going to have to face off against, so let's go ahead and face off against them. Oh, you're a cute, you're a cute little trainer. I like you. I won't hold back though. <laughs> I don't expect you to. In fact, I expect myself to defeat you quite easily. She's going to have a party filled with centrists. Now, don't be You know, don't think that this gym is a pushover for showing you a level 9 centrist um early on. I made this mistake back in the days. This is the only thing that's below level 10. Everything else is going to be in the 15 and higher range. So let's start this off with Sand Slash's... Uh, actually, Crush Claw only has 10 PP, which is not that much. So I'm just going to go with Cut and see if Cut can be enough to take out this Centret, which it should. And I'm correct, Sand Slash, just further proving that it's a badass. Alrighty, another Centret. We'll keep Sand Slash in the fray. Alright, level 13 Centret. Let's go with Swift. Or get hit with Quick Attack, you know, whatever. Okay, Swift. I, I don't think I'll ever get rid of Swift. I love Swift. It never misses. Such a good move. Soon enough, Sand Slash will be learning um, a Ground-type move. I think Dig first, and then Earthquake will be its final move around the 40s. I, I, ch I went ahead and checked uh, 
uh, Bulbapedia and Maryland, which are really good sources for checking out Pokemon stats and whenever they can learn their moves at certain levels and when they'll evolve. I really do recommend it. I'll actually leave an uh, annotation right on the video right now to uh, Pokemon Maryland, which is the one I use the most for all of that information if you guys want to check that out. Okay, um, actually, I'm going to stop with all this, um, the cell, bleh, I can't even speak. I'm going to stop plugging in other things and just focus back on the battle. Alrighty, center at level 16. We're going up in the levels right now. Let's go with Crush Claw, just to see how it does. And, Crush Claw takes care of Centret quite easily. Sweet, 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 and we defeated Beauty Victoria. Alrighty, onward to the next battle. Okay. I'm actually going to skip that fight right there, because that's a skippable fight, and go this way. And all I have to do is face off against these two. Alrighty. You shouldn't let your guard down just because I don't look tough. Considering I, I am pretty well trained, I'm going to consider you a pushover. This is Last Carry. Snubble! Level 17. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, we're going to stick with Sand Slash in this round. Hmm. Um, I'll go with uh, Swift. Swift should be enough. And... Oh, only half, half of the tail's gone. Okay. It's in the yellow! Cut. That's cut! Are you freaking kidding me? Wow, that's a lot of defense. Darn, uh, I'm really surprised. The Sand Slash's attack is actually really good. Alrighty. That takes care of Snubble. Snubble! <laughs> Reminds me of the anime. Oh, God. Alright, that takes care of Last Carry. Okay. Now, let's switch Pokemon here. I'm gonna go ahead and use... Butterfree. Butterfree hasn't gotten a lot of uh, airtime since early on in the game. Let's see. This is going to be another last. Last. I love that word, last. It's going to be last Kathy. Kathy with Jigglypuff. First, first generation Pokemon. It's so cute. It's a Jigglypuff with the marker. And, uh, man. Oh, man. I freaking almost forgot to tell you guys. Um, while training Butterfree, I was able to teach it Psybeam, which is a lot stronger than Confusion. The uh, only thing is... Wait, does, can Psybeam confuse? I'm actually curious right now. I didn't even know. Can Psybeam confuse? Hold on. We're going to check our moves. Psybeam. Yes, it can. The foe's attacked with a peculiar array. It also can leave the target confused. I didn't know that Psybeam is just an, uh, a stronger version of Confusion. So, uh, there you guys have it. We... We have a, a way stronger Butterfree. So let's go ahead and use Psybeam. Which looks a lot cooler. It's a rainbow of death. And will it kill Jigglypuff? It did. Goodbye, Jigglypuff. Thank you for playing. Alrighty, next Pokemon is another Jigglypuff. We're going to stick with Butterfree and use Psybeam. Alrighty. Psybeam! Attack! Oh, you dead. You are so dead. Sweet. Alrighty. And another Jigglypuff. Dear, dear God. This is a lot of Jigglypuffs. Okay. Um, go with you, turn. Boop. And death. Now, U turn's a good move. If I don't want to hit KO, I get the chance to switch out Butterfree, which is really cool. That could come useful. Alright. We're done with all of the trainers, except that one I skipped. Now we can fight Whitney. I'm gonna keep Butterfree up front. Hi, I'm Whitney. You. I saw you at the radio tower just now. Everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Pokemon are super cute. You want a battle? I'm warning you. I'm good. And she's not joking. If you didn't train up for this fight, you're probably going to die. But I prepared. Just for you, Whitney. Setting out her Clefairy at level 17, and we're going with my level 24 Butterfree. Alright, Butterfree, let's start this off with a Psybeam. See how much damage that'll do to this Butterfree. Uh, <laughs> how much damage it'll do to the Butterfree without wings. Okay, enough of this rambling and 
really awkwardly weird commentary of mine, we're going to continue and focus on Whitney. What did I just say? I don't even know. Okay, Sybeam. I'm so confused. <laughs> oh my god. Alrighty. Oh my... Come on! Really? It's a slither of health left. You can at least give me that game. Alrighty. Um, going with Psybeam. Of course it used Super Potion. Why wouldn't she use Super Potion? Okay. Ooh! Dang! Butterfree got pissed. I'm very proud of her right now. Good work, Butterfree. That Clefairy's dead. Okay, bye bye. Alright, here comes Mill Tank. We're gonna keep Butterfree in and use U turn. That way we can get a free hit on this Mill Tank. Alrighty. Hey, just one left, but I ain't losing you here. Okay, U turn. Oop. How much damage is that gonna do? Not that much. Okay, what Pokemon am I gonna go with here? Sandslash. Sandslash, you are the star of the show. Let's do this. Oh crap, it went with rollout. Which is not very effective. Thank you, Sandslash. Alrighty, we're gonna go with Crush Claw. Oh crap, Mill Tank's faster. Now, the thing with rollout, every time you use it, it becomes stronger, so you wanna take care of Mill Tank right away. Alright, it's Defense Fell. Good. Okay. Now we're going to keep going with Crush Claw. Sweet, it missed. Alrighty, come on. Oh my god, it's gonna, she's going to use a potion, so I'm going to go with Rock Tomb to lower this Mill Tank speed stat. Good. Alrighty, not bad. Not bad at all. Alrighty, Sand Slash, go with the Crush Claw one more time. And... Oh my god, will this thing die? Come on. And it used Milk Drink, of course, which heals a good portion of its HP. Crush Claw again. Let's go, Sand Slash. You can do this. Whoop, there you go. No tanks dead. We have defeated Whitney. I am very happy right now. Ugh. That's it, ugh. Wah! Wah! Snivel Hick, you meanie. Okay. She didn't give me a badge. What the crap? Oh no, you made Whitney cry. It's okay. She'll stop soon. She always cries when she loses. Okay, um. I guess we go back and talk to her. Sniff. What What do you want? A badge? Oh, right, I forgot. Here's the plane badge. Jose received a plane badge from Whitney! Yay. The plane badge lets your Pokemon use strength outside of battle. Oh, you can have this too. She gives you TM45, which has the move Attract, which she didn't get the chance to use because I obliterated her, but Attract basically will kind of, it's kind of like a, a confusion. Basically, if, for example, if I teach Attract to Butterfree and my opponent's a male and I use Attract, I could possibly immobilize my opponent with love and have, it's kind of like a paralysis thing, like it won't hurt itself, but it can't attack that turn, which is kind of cool. But anyways... We have gotten our third badge here in Goldenrod City Gym. I am so happy right now. Holy crap. You have no idea how hard I worked on that training with everyone. It was ridiculous. But now that I've done all that training, like seriously, there, I won't have a need to do any more training for quite some time. Yeah, I'm actually really good right now. Um... I know this is going to be really short and all, but I mean, we did get our third badge and everything. And I want to save material for later. I'm going to call this an episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Pokemon Heart Gold. In the next episode, we are going to continue on our adventure and hopefully head to the fourth area where we can get our fourth gym badge. But we'll see what uh, lies ahead on our adventure through the Johto region. See you guys then for more Pokemon Heart Gold.